Hi everyone, this is part two of section 3.5, equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Previous to this, you learned how to partition a line segment, and we talked about the parallel and perpendicular slopes and how to find equations of lines uh, that, go, that are parallel or perpendicular to a particular line that go through a given point. Today, what we're going to focus on is finding the distance from a point to a line. So the distance formula allows us to find the distance between two points. Here we're working with a point and a line. So there's a couple steps involved with this. The first thing we're going to do is we need to find the perpendicular line that goes through the given point. And so let's start with that. And if you recall, to find the perpendicular, we have to take the slope that is the opposite reciprocal. So the slope perpendicular this is our slope here, is 2, and it's a positive 2, so our perpendicular is a negative 1 half. And from there, we're going to work with our y equals mx plus b formula. So let me write that down for you. We've got y equals mx plus b. And we're working with that negative one-half slope. So we have y equals negative one-half x plus b. We're going to take this point and plug those x and y values into our, our equation here. So we end up with negative two equals negative one-half times our x value of six uh, plus b. So now we have to do our algebra here. We have negative 2 equals um, half of 6 is 3, and we have a negative times a positive. So we end up with a negative 3 plus b. We want to add 3 to both sides, and then we end up with uh, b equals 1. So the equation for our perpendicular is negative 1 half x plus 1. I'm going to put a dashed box on that so I know where to come back to and get information from. So that's the first part of this. The second part is we need to now figure out where this parallel or uh, this line, the given line, and its perpendicular intersect. And once we figure out where they intersect, then we have a second point to work with our distance formula. So let's now um, work with or figure out where these lines intersect. And that, if you recall, is a system of equations. So we have this equation here equals y, and this equation here equals y. So let me rewrite those. And we have y equals 2x minus 4, and y equals negative 1 half x plus 1. Well, if this equation equals y and this equation equals y, then they have to be equal to each other. So I'm just going to set those two equations equal to each other and then solve for x. So let's take 2x minus 4 and set it equal to our negative 1 half x plus 1. And we're going to solve for x. So add 4 to both sides. We end up with 2x equals a negative 1 half x plus 5. I have to add 1 half x to both sides. A lot of you like 1 half as 0.5. You could write in 0.5 there. And so I end up with, I'll write in 2.5x equals 5. So now we have to get x by itself which means we divide by this 2.5 and we finally get x equals 2. So now we have an x value. If we take this x value and plug it back into either of these equations up here, we can figure out our y. So I'm just going to work with this first equation, the given, and I'm going to plug in this x value. So I have 2 times 2 
minus 4. So I took this and I plugged it in there. And this came from the y equals 2x minus 4 equation. So now, multiply through, we get y equals 4 minus 4, or y equals 0. So our intersection point has the coordinates of x is 2 and y is 0. So now we have two points. We have 2, 0, and the original point that we were given of 6, negative 2. So those are the two points we're going to work with. The last step in this whole process is using the distance formula with those two points. So we have our given point and our intersection, and we need to find the distance between those two. So distance formula, if you recall, is your change in x squared plus a change in y squared, and the square root, that whole thing. So let me plug in the points that we have. And we have that d equals the square root of, I'll say this is x2, y2, and x1, y1 here. So x2 is 2 minus x1 of 6, quantity squared, plus y2 is 0, minus a negative 2, quantity squared, and square root this whole thing. We now get uh, 2 minus 6 is a negative 4, quantity squared, plus uh, negative times negative is positive, so we have 0 plus 2 or 2 squared, and we end up with negative 4 squared, negative times negative is positive, 4 times 4 is 16, so we end up with 16 plus 4, or the square root of, oh, plus 4, not minus 4, square root of 20. The square root of 20 can be simplified break that 20 down into prime factors, and we have 4 times 5, or 2 times 2 times 5. So this simplifies down to, because anytime you have two of them, you can bring it out in front, this simplifies down to 2 square root of 5. So your final distance is 2 root 5. So that completes this entire chapter. Uh, we finished off with finding that distance from a point to a line. And just to recap, first you have to find that equation to the perpendicular that goes through that given point. Opposite reciprocal. Oh, yeah. That goes through that given point, opposite reciprocal of the given slope. And then once you have that equation, use a system of equations to set them equal to each other to find that intersection point. And now that you have two points, you can use your distance formula to find the distance from that given point to that line, that intersection of the, the two lines there. And that, again, completes Chapter 3. Thank you for listening, and I will talk to you in Chapter 4.